Howdy folks, it's RJ Helms here with episode 23, I believe, of the Let's Play Capitalism Lab series. We are still plugging away through the breakthrough in training scenario. Um, all we have left to do is double our annual revenue while holding the line on operating profit and shareholder return, which have both exceeded the goal pretty quickly on. We've only been playing for 11 and change in-game years. So when we last left things off, we had a bunch of tweaks that we could make to our manufacturing. We had some R&D coming through, kind of first passes of um, sporting goods coming up, which I don't believe we've got into manufacturing yet. No, we have not. And we'd started making a move into the beverage industry. Um, just because that one was a little bit less saturated. So as far as the, um, the sporting goods go, the decision was to not necessarily get into those. I'm not going to sell my technology sandals. My business depends on them. Uh, but to not get into the production of these sporting goods until that research actually had come through. Just because it was a bit more saturated. But for this stuff, so we're already producing grape juice and wine and selling it at a convenience store. So to move into producing cola and bottled milk. So let's move on there right now. And we already, at this point, actually only have one oh it's really really doing well as far as uh demand goes especially on, oh that's terrible terrible grape juice in the local market that's interesting um it's to, to, to eke some more profit out of this we want to replace these price agreement goods no, i'm not selling my sofa technology certainly not for three million dollars i don't need three million dollars from you um but the headache pills in the soap I wonder if there's a way to say, always say no. Um, consider tech offer disabled. So I'm never going to sell that. Um, so if we can replace these with cola and bottled milk, we should be happy because there's no money to be, made, to be made in these in any meaningful sense of the word, whereas especially since these prices seem to be able to come up a fair ways, we'd be able to do really well for ourselves in the beverage market. And that was the choice. That was the, the goal. So let's look at our manufacturer's guide. So cola needs corn syrup and aluminum, and bottled milk needs milk and glass. Is there glass for sale? Not I chose glass. Yes, there is. And is there milk? Yeah, there's plenty. Okay. Let's go back to our industrial park in Prague and let us build a large milk bottling factory on this land that we already wisely bought up ahead of time. So you are going to purchase milk. Well, that's pretty good, but but all cities is something better. No. And glass. And get that selling. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if I could make if I went purchasing, if I get I should have looked if these were available before, but corn syrup and aluminum, I can actually build both in, sorry, I don't actually know if I want two manufacturing units yet. Click, click, click. I actually get both being sold here and these can come off internal sale. Okay, and now let's with those both available, go to our convenience store. And goodbye headache pills, you are going to be cola. And goodbye soap, you are going to be bottled milk. Oh, 
already beating the the market spread on this. It's just at the default price it sets, so that's wonderful. And soap, I'm going to clear stock because that's not going anywhere. And once again, already beating the local average. This is exactly what I expected to see happen. So very nice, very nice. I will wait for that to take through. Let's do a tour of our firms and see what's going on. Um, Share factory doing just fine. Price can come up a touch, I think, making an easy million dollars a month. Tweak some prices at our furniture store. I actually think that I could do with a doubling up of the um, sofa factories. So let's do that. Build a large sofa factory. Actually, before I do that, let's buy some more land around here. I just want to kind of keep growing out. Oh, that's all my money spent. Yeah, buying land's not cheap, but I should very quickly get in enough money to do this. I'm going to go to the existing Sofa factory. I will add this plan to it. Go to this one and apply that plan. And link these things up to my firms. Do I have a leather firm? I don't remember. Yep, I do. And cotton. Oh, so they all I have them all myself. Perfect. Wait for these to take over. Make sure this is at internal sale and at cost or as close to it as I can get. Plus citric acid had stopped, so let's pause that. And now build a warehouse. Oh, new warehouse graphic, that's cool. And use this plan and you will be... Let me name these, because it matters here. So you are... So factory one. And you are Sofa Factory 2. I'm pausing at that taking through. Let's see what the citric acid situation. Okay, there's more. Okay, so bring this off internal sale. This has non-internal clients. So let's jack up the price to get rid of them. And go to one of our furniture stores and see if the bat switch is going to work for me here. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. So with any luck, I'm going to go back on my tour here. But with any luck, I should shake off the... Whoa, that was loud. Well, that's just the R&D of uh, all those things coming through. Sport shoes. Sandals, shoes, socks. Wonderful. Okay, so this should see some things equalize in the fullness of time. Uh, with beds, I'm going to put some training on. I mean, this one was pinned at level 9 manufacturing. This one's not, so I can just put training and the price increase on it. 
doing great. Doing great. Doing great. Cotton Farm is showing a profit. Wonderful. That R&D all just finished. As to that, these are almost done, which is beautiful. My ill-fated polyester factory. Just gonna raise the price on it a bit. I'd like to see it breaking even. Okay, shoe factory. You can come down evidently in price a bit. That might change as the uh, the new quality enters the supply chain. All right, let's tweak some prices here. I seem to recall that with the shoes, I need to set up a new um, assembly line. Oh, what was that sound? Something annoying, I'm sure. So I'm at firm 15. Let's pause and see what that was. Plot of grapes is stopped. That could be a big problem. Yes. Well, I'm going to start a grape farm. Max training. And that'll solve my problem soon enough. Okay, I've gone through the R&D already. Yeah, I was here. Okay, let's get back to it. Things might get a little rough in the beautiful. Things might get a little rough in the textile or the beverage world because of that, but that's okay. You're all doing good. Yeah, it seems to be a similar story here. Oh, that's a little rough. Yes, lumber mill is doing great. Some more R&D. Okay, so here. I can set up a whole new line. So purchase. My leather, manufacturing unit, sales unit, and raise the price a touch to go a long way to solving that problem. Sandals price can come down at wholesale. Sock price can come down at wholesale. There's my beverage R&D. Still no grapes to be had, so that's going to get ugly. And something's up with my bottled milk supply. And these I can't worry about because they're just going to be gone. What is up with my bottle of milk supply it is number of clients. That's a good problem to have. Okay, so you can use some training. Bring the price up, because I do want to change the strategy a bit from last time. In the past, with the ones where I'd done the warehouse, I just wanted to match um, the cost and freight cost to the new price here. Um, I think that was a bit of a mistake. Really, what I should be looking at is that this um, firm profit over the last 12 months is just kind of riding zero. Um, because if I've set it to here, it's not going to cover any of the fixed costs of my firm. In other words, it's not going to cover the training budget and just the overhead 
what in the world was that sound? The factory overhead and the salary's expense. So this is a bit better. I think as an approach, this price, oh, I was gonna say it could come down, but I don't think it needs to. My grapes are almost up. And let's see if you were able to shake off any clients. No, you weren't, okay. Raise the price even further. If you guys want to be fools, you can. Oh, it is. Reserve exhausted. Okay. And that's some other things here. Supply of grapes is stopped. Supply of grapes is stopped. Oh, timber exhausted. So I can close these units. As they're in a timber. I still have some stuff in inventory, so the world's not going to end. My quality here was 89. Let's try to find a similarly good timber reserve to switch this operation to. 85, that might be the winner. Yeah, I think that one that was quality 85 in Rome is the winner, so I will build it. I'll get it set up and on internal sale. Well, it'll already be on internal sale. But I won't close that other one until it's totally dead. Oh, which it is. Okay, so. Moss throwing stuff the land. It's going to make a whole bunch of noises. But I can switch them over. Okay, how's that grape farm doing? Almost time for harvest. Okay, cool. You can have some training on you. Again? Oh, just more. That was weird that they came later. Um, and... Okay, now that you actually have customers, R&D of bed is complete. That's going to be the next pass of R&D, right? Yeah. Starting to come through. Okay, cool. And here I'm getting a little bit slammed at the output unit, so I'll put some training on this. Yep, that's coming through perfectly. Let's just give one last look at this convenience store and see how it's doing, how these products are. So these two, once again, I can't, I can't worry about them realistically, because I'm just gonna run out. Um, coal is doing great, some more R&D coming through. And the milk price can still come up. So you know what, I think that is right hanging out around the 20 minute mark, so this is going to be a good place to, as I need to end. Um, like I said, I'm kind of trying to keep these a bit shorter than usual, um, because I am pre-recording these things all ahead of being away for a couple weeks for the holidays. Uh, so what I've decided to do, just so you guys know, is I'm going to drop down to just two episodes a week, 
um, a episode of Open TDD on Monday and an episode of Capitalism Lab on Wednesdays through to the first week of January. So that will be um, like the week of January 4th and January 6th. And then we'll be back to the regular five episodes a week schedule in the next week. Um, so starting up again on January 11th. So I'm trying to keep these short just because I am recording them all uh, before Christmas and don't want to go absolutely insane with uh, with trying to turn a ton of episodes in just a couple days. So I'll be back in another episode pretty soon uh, to keep up with this. Uh, in the next episode, I guess what we'll try to do is we should get this grape farm producing, which means we can go back to producing wine and grape juice, which is great. Um, our R&D of sporting goods is imminently available, so we'll jump on producing that stuff and setting up the retail operation as soon as it that R&D ticks through. And if things go well as far as getting situated with these beverages, we can expand that convenience store distribution worldwide. Right now we only have the one, but if I mean the goal is to have more, so hopefully we'll have more. But that'll all be in the next episode. So until then, this has been Capitalism Lab. I've been RJ Helms. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, please leave a comment with any thoughts or feedback you have on this series or on the channel in general, things you like, don't like, just any thoughts that you have. It's all appreciated. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.